Hi everyone, welcome back to the garden. Today we are going out again and we are taking a look at what is going on. Now since the last time we've had a garden update, again a lot of things have just burst into life and have started to bloom and I am so excited because it finally feels like spring and it finally feels like the weather is starting to warm up and heading into summer, which I'm really pumped up about. The first thing I wanted to note is the hoop house has undergone a lot of changes. If you've been following along all this time, you know the hoop house has had plastic on it and finally we are able to take that plastic off. One of the main reasons that I was able to take the plastic off is that there's only a little bit of a chance of a frost in my garden still. So um, any frost that does happen is going to be a lighter frost and it won't hurt my blooms and my plants in the hoop house because Again, these plants are cold tolerant, so that's going to be no big deal. Also, we've had a lot of strong springtime thunderstorms. You know, we've been having wind gusts of 60 and 70 miles per hour, and that's very strong, especially with the hoop house needing to be open. Uh, so we did have a thunderstorm that actually just completely took the plastic off of the hoop house you know, pulled all the pens out of the ground and everything. It didn't rip the plastic, it didn't damage the hoop house or anything like that, but I just, you know, I decided, well, it's already off, I might as well just leave it off and let these plants continue to grow. One good thing that I will note about leaving the cover off the hoop house is that the aphid problem has been resolved. If you remember from the other update video, I mentioned that I had a lot of aphids on my white ranunculus and even some of the Icelandic poppies. The good news is that since I've taken that off, all of the aphids are gone. I don't know where they went to, I don't know what happened to them, but they are no longer a problem and all of our blooms are this just nice, clean, pristine flower blooms. The Icelandic poppies have really started to bloom a lot more and these are so gorgeous. I initially thought this is the hummingbird mix. I initially thought that these were more pastel colors like peaches and pinks and whites. However, since this was a mix, I am seeing there are plenty of really vibrant colors too. You can see the really vibrant oranges and the really vibrant yellows also with these poppies. Um, pretty soon I want to make more cut flower arrangements using these poppies. So really excited to utilize those and get a hang of, you know, arranging flowers with those poppies too. Other plants in the hoop house are scented stalks have also started to bloom. These are the Cat's Bright Rose scented stalks. I only got the one color. I also have the quartet mix, but it's not blooming yet. So right now we just have these really lovely bright pink colored scented stalks. I am so pleased. I was worried about these scented stalks. You might remember we lost a lot of plants for the scented stalks when it got very cold over the winter, but a lot of them made it through and I have started to bloom. I haven't made any flower arrangements with these yet, but I am so excited to see these flower spikes get nice and tall and big and fluffy. That's really about it for this update. I hope that you loved it if you did and you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you. I'm making new videos almost every day. I'm trying to get on a consistent upload schedule. So if you like growing cut flowers, you might like this channel. I'd love to have you. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day and I'll talk to you all later. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.